the first week that this went into play, yes. um, my mind was already two, three weeks down the road. And I think it's extremely important that, number one, mm-hmm. you either keep a routine mm-hmm. or you create a routine. Mm-hmm. You know, um, especially with foster youth mm-hmm. and those kids that uh, are being placed in different homes. Uh, in unfamiliar situations, they need something consistent. They need to know what's the next step. So that will calm them to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. Um, the the worst thing you can do for a kid that's either been newly placed or that's already been in place is to, because of this, change up everything, you know, because mm-hmm. Maybe as a foster parent, you're going through some personal stresses. Um, You have not found ways to cope yourself. Therefore, now the home has become uh, disoriented. So I think the number one thing is creating a consistent schedule of activities, whether it's doing homework or chores or playing. And even if they're old enough, even if you have to write it down, on a schedule Mm -hmm. from eight to nine, nine to 10, 10 to 11, these are the things that we're gonna be doing. Those little things right there are huge to young kids. I mean, huge, because they know what to expect and they know what's coming and that gives them a great sense of calmness. Mm -hmm. Right, because you even said it, as an adult, you said, I need to know three to four weeks ahead of time for me, and you're an adult, former foster youth, Yes. You're thinking about children. They need to know day to day and maybe even two to three weeks ahead so they can see and know what's going to happen next. And that gives them a sense of security and stability. I know what's going to happen here because a lot of kids feel like in foster care, the rug is going to be pulled out at any time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think us as adults, as a former foster youth myself, I still have that part that feels like could at any moment something just be pulled out from under us? And so I also need to have that discipline and awareness, what's going to happen? Because if I don't, then I'm going to assume the negative and I'm going to assume something traumatic could possibly happen. Something scary, overwhelming that, yes, has happened for yeah, us you're, in the past. You're, you're exactly right. We either think that the rug is going to be pulled from underneath us or we crash the boat ourselves. Mm. But if mm-hmm. we have a plan, yeah. if we can actually physically see a plan, mm. then that allows us to stay calm, stay on task, stay organized, you know, just be in a frame of, of mind of uh, goodness, you know, mm-hmm. feeling good, knowing. Knowing is so important, you know. Yeah. Confusion, we, we, we don't like confusion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we do not like confusion. We need to, to know exactly what direction we're going in. And not only that, just taking it to another level, it creates trust, yeah. you know. Um, when we have something that's consistently given to us, it creates trust. And we need trust, you know, like we need a whole bunch of things, you know. Um, so I just, I just think that having a consistent schedule and um, trying to uh, say what you mean and mean what you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, well, if like even a teenager were to hear our conversation, like it's okay to write things down. It's okay to put a plan. And it's okay if it doesn't work out perfectly. There is no perfect. Good enough. If you can put three things in a day to do, which could be exercise, eating a health, one healthy meal, and maybe working on a task, whether it's planning, job searching, or learning a new skill, or doing your work if you're in college, just Mm -hmm. something so you feel a sense of mastery. It's less is more mentality, especially now, and having that flexibility. Right.